Okay, so I will start the presentation. So I'm Guillaume Berodo from Camp to Camp. I am uh, one of the main contributors of the OLC Cesium library, whose goal is to create and synchronize a 3D globe, a 3D uh, Cesium uh, WebGL globe from an open layer 3 uh, 2D map. So now I will sh show you how to do it. It's really easy uh, to set up. If you want uh, to have a stacked views, that is uh, the 3D globe is on top of the 2D map, then you just pass uh, the open layers map to the constructor and it will just create the globe for you uh, and, and everything. And if you want a side by side uh, views, then uh, you pass one more uh, parameter that is the, the DOM element uh, where you want uh, to the cesium globe to be attached. Okay. Now that's the synchronization. By default, um, Content will be synchronized between open layers and uh, cesium. The, synchronizer, the synchronizers will be created in the constructor. But if you want to use your own synchronization logic, then you can also pass another parameter to, to do this. Now I will take some example. It's uh, the vectors example from the project page to illustrate the synchronization, um, the two kinds of synchronization that we have. For layers, uh, it's a, a unidirectional uh, synchronization. So, sorry, I uh, say just static, uh, but uh, uh, this presentation is, uh, is online and you can click and you will just uh, go to the, to the example. I thought that because I don't have much time and it would be easier like this. So on the left, there is uh, uh, the, the open layer three map. And on the right, it's uh, the Cesium globe. So it, 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 it's a side by side um, case. And uh, so there is a raster, it's a, it's a Bing raster. It's the same on the two parts. And there is some vector layer with some styling, complex styling, some, uh, some polygons, some circle even, and uh, some, uh, um, some, some symbol, so some marker with, with, with a text style, and uh, some lines also there with uh, uh, some, um, some dotted style. And uh, for, for, for these layers, uh, the synchronization is from open layer to cesium. It means that when we will change some, something from, uh, from the raster or from the style or the vector features, then automatically it will be detected and it will be changed, it will get changed in the 3D globe. But it's just in this direction. If you, uh, if you happen to, to change something on the Cesium uh, globe with the Cesium API, then there will be no synchronization in this, in this direction. And there is bidirectional synchronization for the view parameters, that is uh, the extent, the resolution of the map, and the rotation. If you are going to rotate, like uh, like Eric said, you can rotate with open layers with the map, and then it will it will also rotate on the cesium globe. And if you rotate the cesium globe by moving the mouse, then it will rotate uh, on the on the map on the 2D map. So this is true for the side-by-side -side example, and it will be also true uh, if you are using the stacked, uh, stacked case. So now I will show you a, a demo uh, about the interaction, because now even if it's two different uh, libraries, there is open layers and there is Cesium, but still, it is possible to have uh, 
interaction that, that are spanning from 2D to 3D, and you will not feel that there are these two, two, two different libraries. So, um, I prepared for this. Okay, so here uh, we have um, we have uh, the open layer 2D map. So I will just uh, doing this this time. So it's the same. It's uh, the video is also on the internet. You can uh, you can just click on the previous. Uh, link and you will see it. So there is uh, the 2D map with uh, some point. Here is, is one point, uh, point of interest with some control uh, for this map. There's, you can um, you can pan the map, you can zoom in, zoom out, you can uh, edit some, uh, some, uh, some point of interest, either a, a direct point or uh, draw, uh, draw some waypoint line, and uh, um, so uh, what I will show is uh, to so there is there is a button there to uh, to go from uh, from 2D to 3D, and uh, from 3D to to 2D, and uh, so now I switch it to to 3D, and you can see that uh, it, it's packet view and. Uh, the 3D globe gets uh, just appeared, and uh, we are seeing the perspective, and we are going to to move some points. So we will switch on the on the button that is on the top, and then on one of the of the of the of uh, the horsemen, and to to move them in 3D. So we click and and drop it, and it it gets dropped on the terrain in 3D. And uh, you can move to 2D. Uh, ah, yes, it's, it's not very clear, but what what happened is that we were in 3D. We, we picked uh, this point of interest, and we switched to 2D. And after switching, we dropped uh, the point in 2D. So we took it in the season map, but we dropped it on the open layers map with its own coordinates. And uh, now the, uh, the point has, has moved and uh, it, uh, it will have moved, uh, of course, both in uh, open layers and uh, on, uh, on 3D. So there are many, many things that we can share like this between 2D and 3D. So for example, you can, you can implement really easily uh, some, some night mode and uh, then you will have the night mode in 2D, but going to 3D, it's, it's, also, uh, it's also going to be uh, presented like this. So, uh, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm back. Uh, so what is interesting is that we have just, uh, we have shared uh, the, the 2D and the 3D views we have shared the controls. It's the same controls when you interact both with the, the open layer and with the cesium globe. And you can edit uh, the poise, the point of interest, um, ever, in, ever in, the, in 2D or 3D. And uh, there are that these interactions that can, uh, can span from, uh, from 2D to 3D, from 3D to 2D. And it opens up a new way of interacting with a map. So now, uh, sorry, about the community. So, uh, this project was started by three companies, so Come to Camp, Token, and uh, Boundless. Uh, there have been uh, uh, more than 400 commits from, uh, from eight contributors. So we have uh, all the code is public, and it's a BSD license um, in GitHub. We are doing uh, monthly releases. So the goal is to uh, to integrate uh, the changes from from all three and Cesium because both libraries are also uh, taking a, a monthly release uh, 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 um, phase. So we, uh, we want 
every month to, to be synchronized with them. And uh, so you want to check the change.md uh, uh, file in the root of the, of the project where you will find every breaking and non-breaking change that we, we have to, to do. It's a young project, but it, it also means that it's a project where you can um, make a big, big impact by uh, giving uh, us your feedback, reporting issues, um, sending contributions, and uh, because we are at the, at the crossroad of uh, uh, open layers and cesium, you fr from here you can have a big impact in, the, in both communities. So for example, this week we get a report from the user that something was not drawing uh, correctly on the screen, but in fact it was a problem in cesium. It was a one year old problem in the globe. And uh, because of incoming year and um, and getting us a feedback, we were able to to get the problem solved in Cesium. So today when there will be the new release of Cesium, it will be fixed for everyone. So for the future of, uh, of the library and the project, we want to continue improving the policies of this young project and the code add more functionalities, of course, like uh, to be able to more easily uh, place uh, features on terrain. It should be automatic in the next uh, release of Cesium, so we want to, to integrate it, this night mode. Uh, the previous example was from uh, work in progress uh, work, so lots of things inside, like the night mode or the, the smooth uh, uh, transition from 2D to 3D, like uh, Google Maps where the, you have the line, the bottom line that is fixed. You see that it's, uh, it's not the center of the screen, but it's the bottom line that is fixed. Yes, it, th there is more, more work to get it very mainstream in the, in the project. So one big, big point is that we, we want to, of course, keep up with the, the, the open layers and Cesium pace with the monthly releases and lots of uh, improvement. And um, very important point is that this project goal is to uh, to have something that works directly, of course. But every project has different needs, so we want to be able to to be customizable, so that you can have your own synchronizer, your own logic, and uh, with a minimal effort you will be able to use the library for, for your needs. Okay, that is the end of the, of the presentation and if you have questions. <laughs>